Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and I am back on the coast in California. This is near Arcata, finally back on the West Coast. Temperatures are down, but the news I'm here with is NASA's commercial crew announcement. They announced today the nine astronauts who will be flying in the new commercial crew vehicles, the Starliner and the Dragon 2. And, well, there's nine of them because each mission is supposed to carry two astronauts from NASA, but there's an extra astronaut who comes from Boeing. So a large part of this is to do with continuity in NASA's human spaceflight program. The last time they were obviously flying their own crew was uh, the last shuttle mission to visit the space station. And uh, they left behind some artifacts. In particular, they left a flag behind. So there's a little bit of capture the flag going on. This flag accident, actually, uh, it flew in the first space shuttle flight. So whichever commercial crew astronauts get there first kind of get to claim it and some bragging rights. But the first flight from both uh, suppliers, Boeing and SpaceX, is going to feature a shuttle astronaut who was sitting up front. So the Starliner is going to have Chris Ferguson, who has left NASA... He was the shuttle commander on the last space shuttle flight, but he now works for Boeing. So he's going to be kind of along as like the test drive. I don't know. You know what? If you ever go to a car dealership and you test drive a car, the dealer will like ride along with you. He's going to be that guy and he's going to be accompanied by Eric Bowe and Nicole LeMann. On the Dragon side, Doug Hurley, he was the pilot of the space shuttle. And uh, he's going to be assisted by Bob Benkin, who's going to actually be the commander of that mission. So there's actually, before that, there's going to be other flights. First of all, there's going to be the, the well, there's going to be Demo Mission 1 for Dragon. And that's probably, that's currently scheduled for November 2018. That will be an uncrewed test. There will be nobody on board. There will be a life support system. Uh, and Boeing, well, they had a, an issue with their uh, launch escape system, and unfortunately, that seems to have pushed their schedule out. So they're still they're talking about late 2018, early 2019. Uh, they apparently had a fuel leak. It was related to their RS-88 engine. The RS-88 engine, engine, incidentally, I think it's the RS-88. That was the one that was going to be used by the rocket plane that was being pitched by Kistler Aerospace, Kistler Rocket Plane, or Rocket Plane Kistler, who, of course, back in the earliest days of the commercial orbital transportation program, they were like the dead cert favorites before SpaceX. You know, they were complete newcomers. You know, Kistler were full of experts that actually had real spaceflight experience. So, yeah, curious that that engine still lives on with the Starliner. But, yeah, the second demo missions... Uh, April 2019 is the current predicted date that SpaceX is coming up with. That will be Demo Mission 2, and that will be the one that has the crew on board. That will be Doug and Bob, and they will go to the space station for about a week. They will also demonstrate that the spacecraft can fly in space successfully, and obviously that it doesn't kill them. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, oh, nervous laugh there. And yeah, the mid-2019 is when Boeing's... Starliner will fly with a crew. They'll have Chris Ferguson, Eric Bow, Nicola Mann, and yeah, they'll uh, you know get to the space station, and you know they'll say, "Where's the flag?" And the other guys will say, "What do you mean? Those guys were there a month ago and picked it up." Listen, SpaceX has been very aggressive in the schedules, and it's quite possible it slips. It's unlikely that anybody makes up time, but you know we don't know really what's going to happen in the next few months. What we do know is that we'll, there will almost certainly be crew flying in space in US built spacecraft next year barring like major disasters that's great they actually did uh, they also talked about uh, the second mission which will be much longer it will be a proper visit to the space station so on the starliner they will have NASA veteran Sunita Williams and uh, John Casada and uh, they did a, an AMA today, and I thought it was funny that um, somebody asked, do tattoos, you know, qual disqualify you from being an astronaut? And Sunita Williams was the one that answered. And she said, no, I've got one. I'm not the only one with tattoos, let's say. Um, and yeah, on the SpaceX side, you're going to have Victor Glover, who uh, commented that uh, about his efficient hairstyle, it's going to be harder to maintain in space. Actually, my, I'm not so efficient right now, having been on vacation for too long. And uh, he'll be assisted by, or accompanied by, Mike Hopkins. Uh, I also found it interesting that when they talked about launch music, the, they described Crazy Train by, you know, Ozzy Osbourne and friends, uh, or Vida La Vida, Viva La Vida 
by Coldplay. I don't know, they seem to like British rock bands for some reason. Uh, yeah, so this has been quite interesting the last few months. There's another SpaceX flight that has to happen as well. They need to, well, I mean, they both have to demonstrate um, their launch escape systems. And SpaceX were still talking about, uh, you know, I can't remember when, but, they, you know, they got, they got to do a test flight of that, demonstrate that it works at some point, and that will be on a Block 5. So not sure when that's scheduled for. Boeing obviously have pushed out theirs, and I don't know what the date is on that. But yes, commercial crew flying from U.S. soil again, which is it's it's great. Uh, although I'm going to say I saw on Twitter today Richard Shelby, you know, who's like congratulations and all that. I'm like Richard, you tried to defund this program repeatedly so you could funnel money to SLS, so you do not get to claim any credit for commercial crew. Thank you, Dick. Uh, sorry, Richard. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.